hello friends welcome back let's create new maven project find maven maven project next and then yes click box next group id calm dot data flow and the notified id that is one Yep. Hit finish. Updating. Let's open. Maximize the tree. Find the pump file. Mm, this is by default we get this and we need to change java version by adding this property and then we need these two dependency for apache beam one is for runner one is for sdk now we are copying the compiler inside dependencies sorry before dependencies you can see the version it's 1.5 now it will change to 1.8 it's updating when you save it it will update automatically in case if it is not reflecting then you need to refresh and update maven project it may take some time it's based on your internet bandwidth the direct java the second one for runner and the first one for that apache beam sdk see you can see you can see the changes in the left hand side refresh not going to change the version 1.5 okay and then okay still it's 1.5 then we need to update the project it's a eclipse glitch yeah see beautiful okay create the class now right click the package that's source mine new class let's give the name data flow and choose public static and then finish yep let's remove the to do first and then we need to create pipe pipeline instance name can be p pipeline dot create because we didn't import the package it will import automatically otherwise we need to press control space or else you can mouse over then you will get the option now the p correction also it will import we need to import that's how we need to write p collection it's an instance for p collection our collection equal to see and you need to choose sometimes you will get a couple of options you need to choose the right one you can see the description also left hand side and then choose accordingly using this p collection we are going to read the file so the first step would be reading the file so we are using this text i order read method and most of the cases you can use the description the tooltip will give the more information and the next line we are going to write the file we are simply reading and writing nothing else just to check whether this code is working or not after installing eclipse
same instead of read we are going to choose right here and then p dot run Now let's go and take the input and output path. Uh, for input, we need to take the input path with file. And this is a file we are going to read. Take the path from here. Paste it over there. We need to add file name also. It's a CSV file. can see the spreadsheet file name dot csv it looks good to me now time to take output file path paste it over there okay it looks good Just we are adding prefix for the file. Now time to see the output. Let's run. Check the path. Well, all looks good. Run as job application. Let's run. Oh, gosh. There is some exception. Okay, I think it might be something. In Roman tissues, I need to see POM file first. That's what it says. Because it says no runner. It's a local runner. Mm, let's see the POM file. Well, this is fine. This is fine. It comes with default. This one's a fine and okay, got it, got it, got it. It's a test. Okay, we need to change to runtime. It should be runtime. Let's save it. Now it should be resolved. Let's run again. It should work this time. Let's see the file over here. Hmm, I think this time it's working. That is the issues. Hmm, there are three files because the P collection it's writing distribute fashion. Let's open the file. Okay, loan lines. Let's see in second file. Okay, it's a third file. It almost distributed evenly. Mm. Good. See you on next video.